Gone, Doc's Day, Superman from the show Superman and Lois. This came from a one six kit. It's really packaged well. As you can see, it was it had a shipper box aside from the original shipper box, and it came with all this uh, side protectors or corner protectors. Um, this is the inner box. Really packaged well. It's almost like really vacuum sealed or I mean the fig the other box inside is really like vacuumed in uh, airtight so I had to pull it out good thing the plastics there so inside I am really uh, impressed by the box itself the simplicity of the color says the savior but it's actually Superman and there's just something uh, elegant about the box and inside the box this is the clamshell for the figure and another clamshell with the accessories actually the accessory that it came with is just a stand with the Superman logo it would have been better if they placed a name Superman at least there or Clark Kent and this is the other accessories that came a pair of relaxed hands I think I'll use this one instead so the like gold figures this is really wrapped all the extremities in the head it's wrapped in plastic mostly to avoid paint transfer and there's also plastic here by the neck area just remove it really different looking neck piece so the whole head is attached to the neck unlike other figures which is the head is a different piece I'll talk about it later all you need to do is push this in I prefer to use my palm so to change the hands all you need to do is pull this hand out it's just a peg with uh, a hole in it so just push the other hand in and that should work like uh, Superman with this relaxants I think all my Superman figures are like this displayed like this Anyway, for articulation, um, because the head is one whole piece, so if you move the head to the side, everything actually moves as well, which is fairly good in some way, but it's so tight, and yeah, you won't see any gap like, because it's one whole piece. So that's a good part of it, but it limits the articulation for the head though. We'll talk about it in a bit as well so for the suit the cape feels more like a felt texture but the suit itself the back the seam or the tailoring or the sewing on it is not really that good but well you can always cover it with the cape i really like the superman symbol i'm really particular with or picky with the uh, Superman symbol usually because I really like Superman and the belt is based on the I think second season even the boots I really had to do my research because some of the pictures I've seen on Google didn't match the shoe on this one um, after much you know research I think on second season he started using this kind of boots you can see all the nice um, design on the body the abs uh, I really like the material they used it's like really flexible rubber for the suit it is quite stretchable actually really good material so for the body yeah, it tends to go back to the original position um, for the neck you can move it side to side face down face up but as you can see it would pop out of place because it's one whole piece you can't really make him look up 
so there's limited uh, I don't think you would be able to pose him like in a flying position because of the uh, neck being attached to the head so and also the cape if you constantly remove the head and put it back the cape might end up being detached because it's just um, like pushed into that part of the neck the hole you can move the arms sideways move the arm forward but you can see the crease there but like I said the material is really good it's not like the Hot Toys material you know so there's no movement around the biceps area you can bend the elbows a 90 degree angle same as the other side um, wrist I can flex it and uh, turn it 360 if you want to torso like I said if you push it back as you can see it goes back in place uh, there's limited movement bending him forward and backwards and also for the leg you can open the leg up and make him split but also limited for the forward and backward movement of the legs it's fairly limited too and knees can be bent as you can see really good bending um, the stress on the material is less because of the nice flexible rubber for the ankle as you can see there's a gap there if you flex the uh, foot area around the ankle really really visible gap um, what else yeah I guess that's it fairly simple Superman this is probably the smallest Superman figure I have compared to Henry Cavill he's probably an inch smaller and the Brandon Routh uh, Superman is a bit flimsy it's difficult to stand him up but anyway thanks for watching like share and subscribe if you like the video and feel free to watch my other videos thank you so much really good looking superman here